Yeah, what's up guys? How are you doing? So I greet you guys. I hope you have been doing very well. So thanks for meeting you guys again. So I really appreciate all your efforts, all your your, your likes, your shares, your comments. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate. It. Thank you so much, guys. So today we are here for this bridge. And I think the, the, the contractor they noticed a defect. So they, they asked us to come and do a, a, a topographical survey on the bridge. So that's why we are here today. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys. I will take you guys through on every of the journey. So we want to pick the spot height of the bridge. Then we'll pick the, the roadside as well. On both sides, we'll pick the height so that we can know the difference in height of the, the bridge and, and the road on both sides. So let me take you guys through. Let's go guys. Let me show you how, how it goes. And we'll be using the GPS, differential GPS for it for our observation guys so let's let me take you guys on it so let me show you guys on that next degree so that you can also see let me show you guys hold on sir so let me just show you guys how it looks like under the bridge so i think that's the reason for for the the call so i think they want to reconstruct or so or whatever they want to do on it so you can see the the nature of the bridge you can see that is that is the condition of the bridge so they are seeing so many cracks so many heavy heavy cracks on the bridge so and it's been a while that they've constructed so i think that's the that's the reason for the call you can see guys so that's the reason for the call so they will they have they, are, they, will, they will be doing so many tests on it they've invited some guys also that will be doing some tests on on the concrete on the on the present situation of the bridge so they can know what's next to do to do about it so that's it guys you can see so there's a lot of a lot of uh, cracks on, on the bridge so i think that's the reason for for the for the call so that's it guys so let's go let's go to the main main work what we are here to do let's go to the top of the bridge and let's start our our work in, in, in full so that's it guys so let's let's go to the top of the bridge and, and start our own process okay guys so we're about to kick start now so we are starting our observation now so the instruments the dgps is ready center points then to the other side center onto the edge of the road okay so guys so we are picking it at every five meter interval so we pick the right, the center, and the left. So the bridge we have the bridge is a dual bridge. So we are picking this first side to the extreme end to the where the project is going to stop. Then we move to the other part of the bridge. So we are picking it at every five meter interval. Just to be more accurate. And it moves to the other side as well. So that does it guys. That's it guys. As it's but don't don't worry I will, I will take you guys through on on the process on the processing of the data i will take you guys through on what our result is like so i'll be showing you guys as well so 
So after that point, he's going to move to the center again. Center then to uh, picking. That's how we are picking it. Right, center, and left. Right, center, and left. Okay. Okay, they can move now. They can move. So, it's a heavy duty road, so we are trying to control the traffic, trying to control the movement as as good as possible. Okay. What's that? I don't forget my marker. I'm supposed okay, to. Okay, I have, I have marker. Uh, let me just take the your starting points. I have marker. Let me just let them go. Mm. Okay, yeah. We are moving. Are you going to go? This side. This side. So that's just how we are doing it, guys. So I told you guys, it's a heavy duty road, so we are trying to control the traffic as as good as possible. Trying to control it as good as possible. So when we are through with this phase to where the where we are supposed to stop, we are going to move to the other side. You know, I told you guys, it's a dual, it's a dual bridge. You can see it. That is a dual bridge. So once we are through, we are going to move to the next phase. So that's it, guys. That's it, guys. So we are almost through with this with this phase. We are almost through with this phase. So after this, we'll be moving to the next to the other side. Moving to the other side. So the road is a bit busy. So that's why we're trying to control the traffic as well. Okay, 
so guys we are crossing to the other side So guys, we have moved to the other side of the bridge. We have crossed to the other side, so we are doing the other part of the bridge now. So we are picking the details as well. So we are taking it straight down to where we started from. We are taking it straight down there at the same interval. So that's it. Yeah, let me just show you the ground terrain. How the ground terrain looks like so that's it guys that's it that is a roundup this is a roundabout under the under the bridge under the bridge so that's it guys keep moving so we are doing it straight down to where we started from Yeah, definitely. You can see. Thank you. Okay, I might need this. Okay. So that is how we're going to pick every details down to where we started from. So we're going to do the, the processing of the data and make everything fine and present it to the client and also the data presentation. So that's it guys, that's it, that's it guys. So just keep in touch, keep in touch. I'll make sure I, I give you guys full details till the end, till the end of it. Make sure I give you guys full details. Almost rounding up, so we're almost rounding up. So we have expansion joints in our front here. We, <laughs> I call it, yeah. So I named it the expansion joint because that's that's all. You know, I'm into engineering and construction, so that's always to call it in, in building. In when you are constructing building, we have a joint between two buildings. So this is what I'm trying to say. So we are going to put these details as well and, and change the code. We are going to name it as an expansion so that we can it can be well detailed in the drawing, in presenting the drawing to the clients. So you can see that we have there's a joint between the between the bridge here. This is where the starting point is. So that's it guys, we are we are rounding up. But before we go So it 
it's it's a little bit busy. The road is a bit busy, so we are trying to manage it. So we are going to take it um, some meters away from the from the expansion joints, as as I do call it. it. My dad might not be the name anyway, but that's that's how we call it in engineering when it comes to building. So we are going to pick some part of this is uh, around the other road as well apart from the bridge we are going to pick the the spot height of the road so that we can know the height the difference in height from the bridge to to the other part of the road so that we can know the difference in height so we are just going to pick that as an addition to to our information to our data that we want to acquire on site yeah so that's it guys we'll be picking the both side both this side and and the extreme end on the other bridge the other side of the other bridge so we'll be picking that too as well we'll be picking that as well so that's that's it guys so i think the major reason for for this call is they they notice a defect on the bridge so they are trying to they notice a defect so they are trying to check the the, the difference in the defects so that's what that's the reason why they call for a surveyor so that we can pick the, the details of those so that they can compare it and know the defect and know where the problem is so if they are going to uh, renovate or demolish some part and reconstruct so that's why they need our information so that this will guide them where where okay move down move down slow down slow down so that's it guys i'll see you guys later when we move to the other part of the road i will, I will update you guys Okay, so guys, we are done with that part. So we want to go to the other part of the road and pick the, the center points, only the center point of the road, so that we can that can determine, that can give us the difference in height of, between the bridge and the and the road on the on both sides. So let's go, guys. Uh, okay, that's the expansion points. Okay, okay. Okay, okay I think. <laughs> okay, that R is the direct position that you are right it's now. Rover. Okay. So the R is the rover. What is it? You can just use out. It's out. It's out. It's out. out.
Slow down, slow down, slow down. Ah. So it's it's a bit busy down here. It's a bit busy, but we are trying to manage the situation. It's a bit busy. So we are trying to see how we can manage it. So you can see the bridge, guys. You can see the bridge. Yeah, so guys, we are done. We are done. We are through with what we want to do. So I think all our data are about 238 points or so. So we are true guys. So I will be showing you in my next video how the, the presentation, the, the processing looks like. I'm going to be showing you guys what the result is. So I'll be showing you guys. Just make sure you stay in touch. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you have been watching my video and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that Anytime I draw a new, I drop a new video, you guys will be updated, will be alerted. Anytime I drop a new video, so make sure you turn on your notification bell, like my video, share, share it with friends that you know that they will, they will definitely benefit from it. They can learn from it. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for staying true. Thank you. So I really appreciate you guys. See you guys later. Bye.